All right, welcome back guys. My name is Daryl and today we're gonna to talk about the new feature update Elgin has released that allows you to customize your custom post types and your WooCommerce products. Now also make sure to stay until the end of this video because I have some big surprises for you Divi theme users out there. Now let's go ahead and give you a quick rundown of what they've changed and kind of introduce you all to some of these changes. Now the great thing about the Divi Builder is that it'll actually detect what kind of plugin that you're using and it's compatible with virtually tons of plugins out there. So let's say for example you want a plugin with a specific uh, custom post type. Now in this instance I am using a plugin called uh, custom post types UI. It has like one of them. Just type in custom post types on here. I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you what I'm using. Just so maybe you guys can use this on your website. It's like the most popular one out there. So I just typed in custom and then custom post type UI right here. Now, once you install this plugin or virtually any other plugin that allows custom post types, you can go over here to Divi and go to theme options. Now over here, I believe it is the builder section right here. Now it's going to let you basically enable the Divi builder on certain custom post types or products or whatever. So for instance, right here, I have the uh, juices right here because I'm making a juice website and now I have custom post types for my, my custom post types right here for, for juices. And also you have it for products and you have it for the default projects that's created with Divi as well. Now, if you don't want it, you can always go ahead and take it off, but I don't see a reason why you'd want to do that because this is a privilege to do this. So let's go ahead and show, check out my uh, new custom post I've made. So this right here are my custom post types right here. Now, uh, I'm just going to just click on view right here and show you what I made. So let's go ahead and scroll down right here. This is a custom post type and this was all created with the Divi Builder. So right here you can see that we were using a lot of modules from Divi and etc. So let's go ahead and click on, let's go ahead and just get rid of this and just give you an example of, of what I'm talking about. So right here we have the all of the Divi Builder and it is basically creating the page for the custom post type. And right here, I can just click on delete everything and just say, I don't want anything, I'll update it. And then I'm going to use the visual builder here. And then we can just make one from scratch, you know, with a custom post type. Now, most themes, you can't do this. Um, you cannot, in fact, with Divi, you cannot do this for a while. So they introduced this feature today and I thought it was amazing. So let's go ahead and add in something here. So this is the, the featured image that I added. And I'll just add in a pre-made layout. You know, of course, you would not want to use that on a, a feature or a, a page like this. But, you know, I'm just, just for total purposes, we're going to go ahead and use this layout just to show you that this is working and what you can do with custom post types now. And after this, I'm going to introduce you to the WooCommerce products. So right here, you can see that our page now has, uh, it's fully designed by the Divi Builder. And this is a custom post site page. So let's go ahead and go click on save. Now let's go ahead and talk about the WooCommerce products and what they've done with that as well. So going back over here to our dashboard, I'm gonna go down to products. Now I've actually introduced, or I'll just go to my site because I have them on the, you know, made it really nice and it looks clean. So right here, let's see where they're at. No, they're not, they're not over there. <laughs> I thought they were. So right here, I'll go to products and go to all products. Now here I'll go to, we'll go to the red juice. We'll go to the red one. Now here we have just a basic product. Now you can change the sidebar as well. So right here, I've already changed the sidebar. So if you like to have a sidebar on your product page, you can go ahead and have that. Of course, you know, I've, I just basically wanted mine to have no sidebar, but uh, that's not the point. The point is we're going to show you how you can start adding uh, content now to your products. So right here, now we can actually decide to add certain things. So for example, right here, you want to go ahead and display maybe other products. Maybe you want to display coupon codes. Maybe you want to display anything that you possibly want. In fact, a lot of the, um, on another theme, they actually use a slider right here and they continually slide other products and coupon codes for other products. So you, that's something to think about. You know, maybe you want to add in a big slider right here to sort of advertise your other products right here. So over here, I'll just do this right here and I'll type in, we'll type in a slider. We'll, we'll put in a slider right here. And here I'll just delete this. And you know, right here we can add in something like, um, maybe the slider is too big, maybe the slider is too big. But the whole point is I'm just showing you that you can actually decorate this now with the DB Builder as well. So here maybe we'll add in like a call to action. Uh, here we'll add in something else like a button. And then here you can add something else. So depending on what your needs are for your website, you can now start to decorate the description area of the WooCommerce product page. And you know, that goes a long way because a lot of the times when people want to decorate this stuff, they can't because by default, WooCommerce doesn't allow this. But with uh, the Divi theme now, you can actually uh, decorate your description page with the WooCommerce products. Now, another really cool thing that I've looked at is that they're actually introducing tons of new features as we go. I mean, they're already talking about dynamic content. They're talking about drag and drop files. I, I'm new to that. I've, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've never seen a theme with drag and drop files, but I'm open to it. 
They're also having a uh, find and replace, which I think they introduced already. Uh, more column structures. That is a great one right here. They're introducing more column structures and various other um, you know, updates. So right now the feature war really is going on with Divi. They're introducing so many features with the Divi theme because they're getting really competitive and they really want your business. In fact, they introduce two layouts a week now and those layouts are beautiful. So the layouts that you actually get are, I think you've probably seen them by now. You already get that with Divi once you have your license key. And they released two a week now. Now that was also a feature update, which I thought was just, I, I don't know how they're producing so many layouts so quickly. So here we'll just put in like demo and then use the Divi Builder and then, you know, add the Visual Builder, use the Visual Builder. Now, right when you start, you get this pre-made layout. So these are layouts I'm talking about. So right now they're adding two a week, which are, which is very fast. And these are actually really high quality layouts as well. So be sure to check that out. Now, what I was talking about, a, a surprise for some of you is that I know some of you might want to decorate your custom, your, your category post and also your e-commerce uh, category archive page as well. Now, by default, when you go to, to Divi right here, we have post right here, and then you see your, um, your post right here. If you click on the category, you get this default page right here. Now, Divi may release a feature for this. In fact, I'm pretty sure they will because a lot of people have been asking for this where you can edit your category page. But in my next video, in a few days, I'm gonna show you how you can fully decorate your, your category page with the Divi Builder. So that's gonna be very interesting. In fact, I'm also going to introduce a plugin that will allow you to um, edit your WooCommerce product archive page as well. So for example, right here, we have our products right here. And then we have our, you know, our green juice. Here, I'll just say, um, I'll click on this right here. So this is what I'm talking about. This page right here, it's not yet activatable with the Divi Builder. They might introduce it in the future because Elegant Ninja is really working hard with these future updates. But in my next video, I'm going to introduce you to a plugin and also another resource on how you can fully decorate these pages in my next video. So I hope this video is helpful. Make sure to go over to check out Elgin Themes' page and take a look at some of their updates. They are releasing some really amazing stuff. I mean, a free rental layout pack. They've also showed you how to do like a, um, they're doing like the how-tos now, which are really helpful. So I think this guy right here, he shows how to do a um, cryptocurrency data on your website. You know, that'd be great, you know, but cryptocurrency <laughs> is, uh, I don't even know if it's if it's even around anymore. I, I, I got out a few months ago. I says, I'm, I'm out of here because it's, it's burning, you know, it's on fire. But they do have one of them, which is a cost estimator tutorial. So make sure to check this out. I saw that cost estimator tutorial with the layout and I thought it was just amazing. So they're always releasing just new content. They're releasing tons of stuff, how-to tutorials. And be sure to check out a lot of these tutorials because I actually watch these and get a lot of my tips and tricks because they're very, it's very valuable content. So I hope this video was helpful and I will see you all in the next video.